I spoke with Wolf Rizika. He's the chairman of East Bank Technologies, a software development company. I asked him if this latest victory for AI is at all important. Well, I think it is very important. This is an important step in the advancement of artificial intelligence and also for um, uh, big data analysis. So what really happened is that uh, a machine managed to process more data uh, intuitively uh, on the fly in real time against the unbeatable machine that we had until just recently, the human brain. So from that perspective, it is uh, an extremely important milestone to check off in the advancement of all of us. Displacement of jobs, though. A lot of people start thinking about that. I mean, I worked at a TV station. We've got uh, camera operators out here, but I've worked at stations where they're robotic. Uh, Absolutely. So many jobs being replaced. Uh, and, and as you look at the landscape in the future, you mm -hmm. start to think, wow, more and more jobs can be picked off. Uh, and there's this displacement, this economic disparity. Mm -hmm. What would you say to people who are concerned about that? Well, I understand the concern for sure. Uh, and even there, I would say there's really nothing new. Um, if you think about how many tailors we had um, not very long ago, so I just recently in anticipation of these types of discussions, I looked up how many tailors did we have in uh, Colonial Williamsburg. It was 16. Now, if you've been to Colonial Williamsburg, it was a very tiny population, and a big proportion of those were tailors. How many tailors do you know or do I know? Uh, and how big is that proportion of the overall population these days? Not much. They have upgraded their skills. They're now um, bespoke tailors, maybe. And many of them have upgraded their skills and moved organically to other jobs. The same thing is happening today. Uh, and this trend will continue. And luckily for us, uh, humans have always had this incredible um, ability to adapt uh, and evolution has given us these great tools that allow us to take some of these skills and apply them to something else that we cannot even imagine today. That's my view of uh, it. Adaptation, uh, clearly what you're saying is true, but disruption too. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these new technologies can be disruptive in mm -hmm. nature. Talk to us about, um, because the other thing we're hearing a lot about is virtual reality. It's been out there for a while, but, yes. but kind of give us your ideas. If you were to look into your crystal ball, how do we see these two impacting our lives in the near future? Um, actually, by coincidence, uh, just this week I saw a fantastic demonstration of very new virtual reality technology, um, and it was applied uh, to uh, helping other people. Uh, and in this specific case, it was helping autistic children deal with the daily struggles of life and taking expert, um, expert intellectual property and bringing that into a virtual reality environment so that rural parents that have uh, an autistic child but no access to the fantastic medical institutions that we have here in Washington DC or anywhere else in these urban centers, they can actually now give their children the same benefit that we urbanites can give to our children uh, by having access to these institutions. So an autistic child being immersed in a learning environment that allows them to deal uh, with everyday situations, I think is fantastic news. That's the, uh, the power that virtual reality brings to everyday people as it gets commoditized and embedded into our daily lives.